But what you're looking at here is a free graphing online calculator called Desmos, if you go to desmos.com. Uh, I'm quickly falling in love with this. Uh, here's an example where I am trying to represent uh, standing waves. So for those of you who don't know what standing waves are, they're made of one wave going one way, one wave going the other way, and they superimpose to get this cool up and down pattern. So I'm going to hit play on this. I'll explain what it is in a second. Let's see what happens. So you can see the red waves going to the left, the blue going to the right, and the purple is the superposition, the adding of both of those. What I've done in Desmos is made an overall or a global time variable, T, and uh, you can adjust the frequency of each. Uh, let's just leave that at one for now. Uh, you can adjust the velocity of the wave, although if you leave that at one, effectively what you're saying is that one in the X unit is the same as uh, one second. So how do we do this? Uh, what I've done is I'm actually uh, plotting in uh, basically parametric. It's, it's uh, where the time variable isn't actually one of the variables it's graphing against. You're graphing X position versus Y position, but those positions are functions themselves of time. I'm being a little sneaky in that I'm adding a capital T here, which is the global time variable, and by changing that, that allows me to basically show what it would look like at a later moment in time. And Desmos, of course, lets you play variables, so if I play the time, it goes nice and smoothly, and you can, you can see that. Now we can turn these on and off. I can toggle off the red and the blue, and then you're left with just the superposition, or I can toggle off the superposition, or one or the other. You get the idea. You can change parameters like the amplitudes. Uh, this is just a phase shift at time zero. Uh, I'll probably leave that at zero. Set it back to time zero. I like to input the frequencies instead of the angular velocities. And then I have Desmos compute the uh, angular velocity from that. I like that I can pinch zoom. I'm on a touch screen here, obviously. Uh, that, or you can do both at the same time. Very handy. Um, I have it set so that it goes to about five seconds so that it'll fit on the screen because I'm trying to show a simple harmonic, uh, not simple harmonic. I'm trying to show uh, standing waves so it's a fixed length here. And I think that does a nice job. I can also change the pace at which this is going with these little slider bars. I really do like this Desmos stuff. Now you can also show uh, the phenomenon of beats. So let's say you wanted to say uh, have a 50 hertz and a 52 hertz, what would that look like? Well, if we make the first frequency 50 hertz and we make the second frequency 52 hertz, it looks a little muddled, so I'm actually going to toggle off the red and the blue and look at just the superposition. Now when you look at this, you can see they're off by 2 hertz, 2 cycles per second, and you get 1, 2 beats per second. If I was to change the difference in frequency, it changes the number of beats per second. How's that for cool? Now if you want to look at a, a broader pattern of what happens, I can hit play here, but I'm looking at only a small region. What we can do is we can actually change the domain over which uh, we're, we're plotting this. I'm going to change each of these. Let's make it something big like 50 seconds or something. Now when we zoom out, you can see it goes on and on and on. Or we can look at what if we didn't have such high frequencies? What if we had different frequencies but they were just lower, like two and, I don't know, something single digit. You can actually see them going in and out of phase. And if we toggle these on, you can see that. Now we can zoom way in here, so I made the frequencies uh, a little bit more different. I made them uh, 2 and 15 hertz, but if you zoom in, you can you can see what's going on. You can sort of see the wave packets and the individual waves. Uh, so this is just one of a number of simulations I've been making. Um, hopefully I'll do more.